White excellence! Gymnastics world erupts over insane routine. US gymnasts' white excellence routine goes viral. White gymnast gets fierce praise from Laura Bush for white excellence floor routine. Is this racist? Is this an example of white supremacy? I would say yes. Yes it is. It is not appropriate for the media to report stories in this way. But this is fake. I made this up. There was no white excellence routine. But there was this. Black excellence. Gymnastics world erupts over insane routine. Nia Dennis, US gymnast's black excellence routine goes viral. Nia Dennis gets fierce praise from Michelle Obama for black excellence floor routine. This is real, but this is equally racist, is it not? I mean, if this is racist and an example of white supremacy, then surely this is racist and an example of black supremacy. Is my logic flawed? I don't think it is. It seems like it's one rule for white people and a different rule for black people. And that's not right. It needs to be called out for what it is. Racial double standards. If you think this is okay, but this isn't okay, then you are as equally racist as the white supremacist who thinks the opposite. They're both not okay. They're both endorsing praise based on the colour of the recipient's skin. That's racist in my book, and I think we should all call it out. You don't counter white supremacy by endorsing black supremacy. Wasn't it Martin Luther King who said, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the colour of their skin, but by the content of their character. Yes, we should be celebrating Nia Dennis's gymnastics performance. We should praise her for her choreography. But to start mentioning black excellence and praising her for her skin colour, well, that goes against everything Martin Luther King was trying to fight for. It's not because she's black that she did a good gym performance. It's because she's a good gymnast. So let's just leave it at that. Here's another article. January 26th, activist calls for $1 million for each white person during Australia Day rally. A Caucasian activist has called for every white person in Australia to be given a $1 million each. Yes, this is terrible. This is another example of racism and white supremacy. Except that it's not true. I made this one up as well. But here is the true headline. January 26th, activist calls for $1 million for each black person during Australia Day rally. An Aboriginal activist has called for every black person in Australia to be given a $1 million and then we can talk treaty. Is that what we call black excellence? Demanding money from the government for all people of a particular skin colour? I'll let you decide on that one. And just one more headline. This one is real. Rohan Browning becomes second Australian sprinter to break 10-second barrier. Mum says reaction not racist. Okay, a great achievement by Rowan. Certainly worthy of praise. But of course, skin colour had to come into it. His mum sent out a tweet saying, I think my eldest son just became the first non-Indigenous Australian to run 100 metres in under 10 seconds. Can't quite believe it. And of course, in came the torrent of racist accusations. Hey Liz Jackson, this is a really racist tweet. Please correct this and apologise for putting this out there and please, please learn from your mistake and why this is so harmful. Your tweet removes Indigenous people's achievements from the equation and makes your son's race a separate competition without them. Just say what he came overall without removing them. Good run. Not so good tweet. Many people don't even notice subtle forms of racism because it is so ingrained in our society. We should be better and athletics can help to show the way. A few people spoke a bit more common sense. I have mixed emotions about this. I can see the racism in it, but I also know that Kathy Freeman was lauded for being an Indigenous athlete. If race doesn't matter, then it shouldn't matter across the board. Actually, this person identifies themselves as a lefty, but yet even this tweet was accused of racism. The mother sent out one final tweet trying to defend herself from the barrage of racial accusations. She said, Not racist at all. In fact, quite the opposite. This tweet was an acknowledgement of just how good our Indigenous athletes are. Anyway, that's the state of race relations at the moment. I wonder if an Indigenous mother sent out a tweet praising her Indigenous son. Would these same people accuse her of being racist? It's double standards, and it's awful. We need to stand up against it. Does this really bring about racial harmony and unity? Commenting on people's skin colour whenever they achieve something? No, this doesn't bring unity. This brings division. And that'll end up hurting everybody in the end. 
If you're going to call out racism, call out racism in all its forms. <laughs> <laughs>